What is up everyone, it is Andrew Peer here at Beat It AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube video. And for many of you, it might be your first time ever watching a, video, ah, a YouTube video from me or a video from me in general. So with that being said, my name is Andrew Peer. I make beats, I make music, I do entrepreneurial shit, I do marketing shit, I do a whole bunch of stuff in the music industry, behind the scenes and with like upcoming artists. So. Um, with that said, in this video, I'm going to try my best, third attempt now, to go through majority of the basics needed for people to make music and beats from a DAW, preferably FL Studio, because right now we have FL Studio 12 open. Uh, yeah, and you can see we got a lot of special plugins. I'm going to close all that. And then over here, so before we get anywhere, let's run down through some basics really big like major basics this video is really for people that are just coming like about trying to figure out how to make music and make beats and don't know what to use and are on the fence about going to fl studio and such so with that said over here is our mix uh browser area allows you to pick your uh sample files and other little drum packs and such it's kind of like a file directory essentially up here file edit add patterns kind of just a whole bunch of little toolbar settings opening up uh, other projects here's playback functions some other little functions up here like metronome bpm beats per minute how which is essentially your tempo um get your playlist right here got your channel rack which is a rack literally you see a rack of channels each one of these is an individual instrument sound so it's a channel then you got a piano roll a piano roll is essentially a function so here we pull up our channel rack our rack of channels we're gonna click this vst it's a omnisphere third-party plugin this is a generator plugin essentially what that means is it's a synth or something that creates sound as opposed to an effect plugin if it was an effect plugin that means it would be manipulating sound generators is generating sound so this is a generator very basic basic knowledge you're gonna right click it piano roll oh it's a generator it generates sound so we got piano roll uh, which is literally a roll of a piano scale allows you to input notes and melodies so you see we could draw in notes that's how you create a melody so that's some basics right there so with all that being said this is our channel rack each one of these that you see well audio no unsorted these are all your main channels audio tracks or I mean uh, yeah channel and this is a rack and these are each going into their own little mixer channel or mixer track our mixer is essentially a function and feature that allows us to manipulate the fader level the volume fader level as well as put on um, plug-in effects as opposed to plugin generators so a reverb would be a plugin effect vst effect um omnisphere nexus all those pianos synths would be um plugin generators hopefully some of this information is coming uh making sense to some people and trying to go through this fast so you guys understand it fast and you guys can rewatch it and like kind of just go through maybe take notes if you're that type of dude i mean i'm i'm that type of dude i take notes on everything I keep tabs on everything. Not literally, but I mean, I try to make sure I learn the material as fast as I can. Um, with that being said, here's our mixer channel. And I have you right here, it's gonna tell you each mixer track where it's at. So this one is telling us it's at 25. That's this one right here. This one's telling us it's at 15. That's this one right here. This one's telling us it's four. There's four. Then over here, it tells us each individual effect on that uh, track. 
So that's just some basics about the mixer. I'm not gonna teach so much functionality because we can be here for hours and I'm teaching that. I wanna cover the knowledge. And then after this video, you guys start watching some beat tutorials, type beat tutorials or other videos. Then you'd be like, oh, I kinda know what he's doing. He's opening up the channel rack adding in a plugin generator, creating a melody in that channel rack, and then he's gonna create maybe even a whole pattern in this channel rack, because essentially, I can put in something right here, I can put something in right here, I can put something in right here, and I can scroll down and put in something different. I can have it separate, or I can put them all into one, like one big channel rack, you know what I mean? So I can like do like this shit, but like have the melodies, the matter it's just gonna be playing everything in one channel rack the rack of channels so I mean that's it's pretty basic uh, and stuff once you start seeing it and someone explains it to you then you start practicing it then you start doing it so here would be like your toolkit here would be kind of like a sample then here's your canvas and here's like final tweaks and like doing the final procedures kind of it'll be kind of like doing the tweaks getting the sound right maybe manipulating sound and your playlist is going to show you everything in a bar structure and in that bar structure you're going to follow a set of parameters on creating your beat so i'm gonna pull up another beat um i'm gonna play this beat though so you guys can kind of hear uh, the quality that you can achieve in FL Studio. I mean, this is a decent size, a uh, decent beat. It's nothing too crazy. I'm gonna skip ahead like in the middle though. here I could essentially mute different channel racks and get and all this stuff down here is uh, automations which is just automating uh, different effects of plugins so that's I'm gonna pull up another project a project where you guys can see uh the structure where i actually uh i believed i let's see Yeah, so here you can kind of see how I structured it. Here's kind of like an intro, goes into a verse, chorus, a bridge, then a verse, then a chorus, then an outro. Um, I just put in these tabs because it's really easy to know what everything is. I'm gonna go ahead and play right here. The transition from the intro into the verse, and I'll play part of the verse as well. And here's the mixer as well. It's a very similar setup as before. So. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna hide this browser. We don't really need the browser. I'm gonna keep the mixer to the side. Play. Because of the screen recorder and a whole bunch of programs running on my computer is kind of lagging and causing this little delay and distortion which is normally not there um, but I mean it's literally the same setup you got different uh, playlist tracks you see it even tells you like track 24 track 25 tw track 26 different playlist tracks 
um, each one containing a different channel rack pattern or containing a different pattern which is usually one individual uh, channel in the channel rack so I mean essentially yeah that's really a lot of the fundamentals I know that's not the finality fundamentals but this should give you like a brief understanding of layout and um, setup be organization and be setup on FL studio so let me know what you guys think um, about this if you guys ever want to contact me follow me uh, all my link as well as Tony's and beta ATs links are in the description uh, feel free to contact any of us whenever so yeah this is Andrew Pierre here at beta AT production and publishing and I'll see you guys later